Hey folks, Johnny here, joined by Nick. And um, we just wanted to do a quick video to tell you that we are going to be taking part in Blackjack Legacy's uh, Firefight Slow Grow Challenge. Hopefully, if you've checked out uh, Andy's uh, YouTube or you've seen on uh, any of our socials, you'll have seen what's happening. Um, the idea is between now and I think the end of November um, to paint up a thousand points of a firefight uh, strike force. Um, starting with your leader, then a vehicle or a flyer of some description, and then on to completing the uh, the whole army. Um, so we were dead excited to uh, to get involved, so we just thought we'd do a little video to tell you what we were doing. So do you want to start with yourself, Nick? Cheers. Um, so yeah, I, I have an existing army of enforcers that I'm quite excited to play with. Uh, unfortunately, they're not terribly well i've not progressed painting them i'll admit to that right now um so i currently have a enforcer accuser painted and a peacekeeper captain painted in gray and orange i saw those in a previous video yeah, where we, yeah we, so we talked about those in the previous that video uh, i was very excited about the pathfinder models though so mm -hmm. i think my army for the slow grow is going to have quite a lot of pathfinders in it I really like those models. I like them. I, I quite like their rules as well. Quite like the the idea of sniping yeah. some characters out of some units. <laughs> um, so I've also got quite a lot of jet bikes, and I'm quite in, in, in excited to play with some jet bikes. So my army is going to be pathfinders and jet bikes primarily. Uh, it's going to give me an incentive to go and paint my miniatures, which is the key ingredient here. Mm. So the benefit of it being slow grow is I can paint them in batches and stages. Uh, in the in the right order that uh, Blackjack Legacy has asked for, which is great. Yeah, I get to paint the character first. It's it's good motivation to it's have those deadlines, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant motivation for that sort of thing. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and I've got the benefit that all my models are built already, which yeah, is quite nice. Already got a bit of a head start. Yeah, yeah. I'm not so sure about the color scheme. Uh, I think that my existing color scheme of scheme of uh, grey and orange. Um, I'm not so. Ha I'm happy with the orange. I'm not so happy with the grey. Mm -hmm. So we shall see. Uh, I might repaint them in a different colour scheme. Yeah. I suppose grey is easy enough to paint over. Grey is yeah. yeah easy enough to paint. You always over. Uh, always just put a, a, another colour over the top of the grey. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. How about you, Johnny? Uh, I'm also going to do enforcers because um, you may have seen in, a pre in the previous video when Nick was talking about all his jet bikes. I got quite jealous because I think the jet bikes are fantastic models. Um, so. I'm going to copy Nick and do enforcers with predominantly jet bikes. So it's going to be a bit of a race as to who has the most jet bikes in their enforcer army. I have a feeling you're going to win. So, <laughs> if at any point you see the Mantic store has suddenly ran out of jet bikes, you know who's got them. Um, apologies. Um, but I'm going to, instead of doing Pathfinders like yourself, I'm going to do uh, my core troops as peacekeepers. Um I prefer building to painting. I, st I enjoy painting, but but uh, building is is where my hobby lies, and uh, so I tend to you steer quite clear large, of like the large models. Yeah, don't you? I tend to steer clear of, of big hordes where I've got to paint an awful lot of troops. So uh, peacekeepers gives me that ability to just paint a, a, a lesser amount of uh, of troops to be able to then get my jet bikes. So um, Veerman was a little bit lower down your list then? It was, yeah. I did look at the idea of doing just rat swarms as my core troops and then have lots of tunnel runners, but yep. uh, I thought uh, I prefer the jet bikes to the tunnel runners, as, as nice as they are. Oh, the tunnel um, runners is an amazing model. Yeah. Though. Really like so, it. Uh, so I thought I'd go, I'd go in forces. I've been Fair threatening enough. to do a jet bike army for a very long time. You have. Um, and th again, talking about motivation, this is obviously the, the kick up the backside maybe I needed to actually... Uh, Get out there and do it. I think it's um, yeah, really good motivation yeah. to do these things Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. And, and it also means like it's the motivation longer term to actually play the game as well. You know, yeah. we, we've had a few games ourselves of Firefight, we really enjoy it, but uh, neither of us have yet sort of delved into fully immersing ourselves with getting a getting yeah. a big army. So uh, that will hopefully be uh, be good motivation as well to be able to to have an army to actually play with as well at the uh, at the end of this. Mm -hmm. uh, cause it's a thousand points uh, is the slow grow challenge, um, which is more than enough for a good game of firefight. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm looking at doing uh, as I say jet bikes with peacekeepers. I've just under a thousand points on the list I've made at the moment, and I need to make the decision whether I want maybe a fly like the Interceptor or whether a Strider, because I've got a free free support uh, slot left, basically. Do you like the big um, robots? Yeah. I think a Strider um, might be a good shout. But 
going on to my ideas for my paint scheme, I've got a yeah. number of ideas and uh, I think I want to stick with the sort of the law enforcement aspect of, of enforcers. So one of the ideas I had was if you've seen the old Mad Max films, the original, um, before his Jensen Interceptor car gets beat up and, and uh, all black and rusty, it's bright yellow with red and blue trim, I believe. And um, that's the sort of the, the police uh, colours. And I thought that would be quite fun for the yeah. jet bikes to be that colour and then the that's actual cool. enforcers to be to be in black, almost like they're wearing levers. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, of course, if I did that, then I'd have to have an interceptor as, as my flyer because, <laughs> you know, yeah. it just makes sense. Um, or I go sort of more down the lines of like Tron Legacy, that sort of uh, oh, colour. I cool. thought, you know, the jet bikes would yeah. look really good in, in maybe... Shape shift, uh, color shift paints, yeah. or or bright fluorescence, something That's like cool. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so those are sort of the ideas that I'm toying with at the moment. It'll probably be the case that I'll build a few and then do a couple of test paints and and see which I prefer. That's cool. And leave leave some ideas available for me. Yeah, of course. Because yeah. I don't want. If I'll we have the more difficult one. If we have matching armies, that'd just be embarrassing. It would, but it would mean we'd better play like two on two. Yeah, that's so. true. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I mean, uh, out of those two paint schemes what i'll probably end up doing is panicking and picking the easy one um but we'll see <laughs> i i think you should you should test yourself johnny yeah um yeah it'd be, it'd be fun like they i've painted those jet bikes in the past and they are they are fun models to yeah to paint so uh that's cool we shall see um but yeah it'd be great to see what you guys are up to as well if you're getting involved in uh in the slow grow yeah um obviously you know send your works in progress over to to andy at blackjack for him to feature on his channel but also send them our way as well um hopefully ours will be good enough to feature on his channel hopefully yeah maybe um but yes send, send them our way as well we'd love to see what you're getting up to we'd yep. love to feature them in like the midweek roundup that sort of thing um and it would just be really exciting to see to is there a hashtag they can use they can use hashtag my on the likes of instagram and, and that sort of thing cool. to uh to help me find them a little easier um yeah, it'd be really interesting and really, really fun to see uh, come the end of sort of November. We yeah. have a you know a lot more thousand point armies uh, hitting the tables for uh, for firefight cool. around the around the community, won't it? Awesome. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, we'll also try and get some more guys at Mantic HQ to get involved. I know Dave uh, has said he might do his Asterians, so that'll be cool. Now we've got that on camera, he has to do it. Right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, so it's, uh, he's yeah. pledged to it now. Um, but we just thought we'd give you a quick update to let you know that we're getting involved. So uh, hope to see you again soon.